This is a remake of my 2009 video by the same name. Thank you for rewatching. The Lonely Caboose. You can see them all over this country, abandoned by railroads, destined to rust away in some park or museum. What a sad end for the noble little caboose. They were useful and served many purposes. They were an office on wheels, a haven from the coal, and a symbol that all was right with the train, as long as they were part of it. Many are the days and nights I warm myself by their fires. It doesn't seem right to replace them with a blinking light. They will be sorely missed. They played a valuable part in railroad history. I remember them and they will always hold a special place in my heart. Here we see the 744. It sits in a little park in Williamson, Georgia, a town that the railroad no longer even goes to, down on the old Columbus line. The tracks have been taken up. Here's an old N&W caboose that sits out behind the old depot on the Central Georgia line in Forsyth, Georgia. The Historical Society has an office set up in the depot. The 471 sit in Barnesville, Georgia by the old depot in the central of Georgia line there. The 383 sits in Milner, Georgia downtown. If you have a video of a caboose in your area, I invite you to post it as a video response to this video. Thank you for watching.